Hello, I am so glad I did not get rid of this grounding bar that I made four years ago. It's just a bunch of standard coax grounding blocks on a piece of copper pipe. The copper pipe is mounted on a board, and I have each grounding block bonded with some copper wire. And I just clamped it to my desk with some C-clamps. Right here I have ground one, and right here I have ground two. Right here I have the red wire coming from my 500 foot loop antenna and right here I have the orange wire coming from the other end of my 500 foot loop antenna. And right here I have the red wire coming from my 250 foot loop antenna around the basement. And over here I have the other end of the loop antenna, the white wire. And over here I have my single stage RF to DC converters as well as my multi stage RF to DC converter connected to it like that. And I can stick the ends of the antenna on any one of these that I want. I have these two 18 inch pieces of coax here. One's got an end on it and one's stripped down to the copper so I can connect it to either this antenna or my crystal set. The other end of the coax would just connect right to one of these. I also have my little breadboard here as well as my parts bin down there so I could pretty much do any circuit. There was a point in my life where I knew how to use this signal level meter. Unfortunately that was years ago and I pretty much forgot everything about it. Tomorrow at noon I will experiment with this to see how much I can put out. Right now it's 10 o'clock at night and we're not going to get much of a signal so I'm not even going to do this tonight. I'll do it tomorrow. So that's how you make it a lot easier to experiment. Well thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It isn't science fun.